Hello, this is Stefan from the Moth 3D Tech team. In today's quick tutorial, we'll take a quick look at how to enable the Katia Composer player to work in full feature virtual reality mode with the Morvis VR Bridge software. Assuming you have successfully downloaded and installed the Morvis software to your PC, simply launch the Morvis server control. You will notice the little Morvis icon right next to your system time. Right-click it to reveal the context menu. In the context menu, open the Morvis application enabler and click on Add application. In this dialog, we need to point to the executable file of the Katia Composer Player software. To obtain this information, it is most easy to right-click the Katia Composer Player icon and select Properties. In this new window, you simply want to click on Open Path. And now we know the path, which we can simply copy and paste into the dialog. So we choose the Composer Player Exe and now it's added to the Enabler list. And the last thing we need to do in here is to enable the software. Now Katia Composer is ready to work in full feature OER mode. First, launch the Morbis client. Second, launch the Composer player. Third, load your model, which is instantly being displayed in VR. Now that this model is very, very small and I want to see more details, I can simply increase the scaling factor by 10, roughly by 10. Nah, that's good enough. Now the object is being displayed 10 times or 9.96 times as stated on the menu, as big as it actually is and I can inspect all the details that I want to see. And the good thing is, you do not need to do any conversion on your model. You can simply use the Morvis VR Bridge to display all of your existing 3D data inside the Katia Composer with an Oculus Rift, with an HTC Vive, or even with Windows Mixed Reality headsets. If you have any questions about the Morvis software or need technical assistance, do not hesitate to contact us via email on support at more3d.com. Thank you so much for watching.